worksheet GS RTD11 worksheet 1 is just kind of mixing the law of cosines and the law of sines together. So you've already covered the material, right? All it's really asking you to do is to distinguish what to do and which relationship to use. And I guess um, here's my clues to you is that there are a couple of ways to proceed with the law of signs. The law of signs, you proceed when you have given at least two angles in a side. It does not matter the order. The reason it doesn't matter the order is because if you have two angles, you, you get the other angle along the way. So you can proceed using that magical pairing that exists. And um, if you do not have that case, you probably have three sides or when it comes in the order of a side, an angle in a side. This is when you proceed with the law of cosines. Now uh, sometimes, as you've seen, to solve for things, sometimes you have to break it open with the law of co cosines and then switch over. Uh, sometimes they solve individually what you're looking for. So look for pairings that means you're in the law of sines if you can pull that off. If you cannot obtain a pairing, then you're going to be over here in the law of cosine.